the bear, just like uh, myself uh, and just like Polly as well, um, is wearing hearing aids. The first time I wore hearing aids, stepping out of St. Bath Holomew Hospital. Poet Raymond Antrobus. I've got brown. And illustrator Polly Dunbar are going back to school to share their new book. Can Bear Ski. Dad Bear has a hard time waking me up in the morning. One, the radiator shakes. Two, the bed rumbles like a large empty tummy. Three, the windows by the bed tremble. Four, Dad Bear takes one heavy step forward. The ceiling cracks. Five, the idea for Can Bear Ski was a kind of an autobiographical one in that my parents didn't know I was deaf until I was around six or seven years old. I was brought up with a deaf mother, so deafness has been there from the word go for me. As from the other side, I see it as I'm now um, the deaf mother and I have children who, who might inherit it. Can the bear sign? Can the bear sign? Can the bear sign? If the bear was me, was living me, the bear wouldn't be able to sign until he was 11 years old. Can I ask you which school that was that, that you went to? <laughs> Oh. Oh. Dad, just got me on now. No way. <laughs> That's the same school. Wait, 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 wait. So, how did that make you feel when you found out that he went to the same school as you? It made me shocked. Oh, All happy. Oh, look. Oh. Yeah. My old teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Live to be old. Do you think you'd like to write a book like this in the future? Yes. yes. yes? Why? Yeah. Because, because I can't find a book that has that character in it because they're so hard to find it. Yeah. Because it actually want to read dead things. But if you like like just writing with no dead character, it just make me feel a little bit bored. But if I see like that book, I just Straight to and straight to I eat the last of my porridge. Time for school. Dad Bear talks a lot on our way to school. There have been historically too many stories in which disability is shown as this thing which is very tragic. Suddenly, the, the, maybe the disabled child or, or someone with a disfigurement is suddenly cured or healed and that's meant as this kind of sentimental feel-good moment. And actually, that's a huge disservice to the to the reality of what it is to live with a disability. Come closer. Beautiful, that's brilliant. Wow, that's brilliant. To even know what, uh, what these little robot mice in my ears, I have a three-year-old and a six-year-old, and like, why, why, have to, why do you squeak when I cuddle you, mum? And I'm just like, my hearing aids. To be doing, making a book with them there, watching me do the pictures, has sort of showed it to them in a very normal way. My uh, six-year-old couldn't wait to get to see the audiologist, so I can't wait to think uh, to think that it will be in waiting rooms. You know, when you're they're about to go in, they have the books there. It needs to be there, so the parent can look through with them. And um, yeah, that would be wonderful. Can we say goodbye now? Bye. 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 B